I'm going to use these guys and some very simple logic gates and not and or and a circuit that we've got out there in the school hall. And what this circuit's going to do is to add together two numbers to come up with one answer. Who would like to be bits of a computer? Yeah! Come on up and I'll give you out your shirts, OK? This one is a number one, which is for Ishmael. Where's Ishmael? Well, hey, They're not just pretending. One? They will be yeah, a computer. Charlie T, thank you very much for being an AND gate. Normally, of course, computers work on electric currents. Our computer will be powered by kids who will pass on their ones and zeros by either tagging the next kid in line for a one or not tagging them for zero. It's time for the kids to take their places in our circuit. And for the record, I've never tried this before. OK, some of you are being AND gates. Do you remember what an AND gate has to do? The rule for ands is they only get a one to pass on if they're tagged on both shoulders. So now some of you are being or gates. Ors pass on one if they're tagged on one or both shoulders. Some of you are being not gates. Nots are different. They get a one to pass on if they're not tagged. Numbers, you are the most important thing because the whole circuit is about processing numbers. We're going to put these four bits into the circuit which, arranged like this, represent two and three. Off you go. The bits of information have been inputted. They're relayed on by the first set of kids. If they're following their rules, only some should be carrying ones, while others won't. At each gate, the bits are combined and passed on. They're nearly there. At last, the output numbers are either tagged or not. So. We've got a 1, a 0, and a 1. A 4 and a 1, and that makes 5. And the numbers we added at the start were a 3 and a 2. So a 3 and a 2 moving through this circuit, with all of you just doing very simple things, being and or or not, ended up at a 5 this end. So you have calculated the right number. <laughs> Today. All our computers are built using Boole's logic gates. Here we have 13, but a modern computer chip like this one might have 250 million. They're all doing exactly what these guys were doing, but an awful lot faster. We just did a simple sum here, but Boole heralded a new era for logic in which reasoning about anything could be done in the language of maths.